Hello, welcome to Queen of Six and Academy. Um, that is my baby boy, he's eight years old. We are doing homeschooling. That is the name that he chose for his school at home. Queen of Six Academy is what he wanted. I just have to do a disclaimer. He is very, a very good child and very well mannered. And what you are about to see, and how it's he's nothing. acting, <laughs> this right here, nothing. you will nothing. ever, nothing. ever, you will never nothing. see him nothing. acting this way out in public, nothing. Nothing. in school, nothing. Nothing. this is nothing. not him, nothing. he is a very good child, he is not disrespectful or anything like that, you know. We're homeschooling, I'm mom, so he is just, you know, not taking it as serious <laughs> as he would. You hear how he's talking in the background. And if you knew him, you would never even get this conversation from him. So this is why I'm not angry, you know, because I'm glad that he feels comfortable and to talk and express himself at home and to be himself. But like I said, when he's in school, oh, his teachers love him so much. He's in the second grade. He does not talk back. He listens very well. I just had to do that disclaimer for you guys. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, you hear him? You know? All right. Okay, so let's get into this homeschooling. First no! thing, we're going to start no! off, off with our spelling bee. All right, Ahmad. Can you spell M? M. All right. Can. Okay, good boy. Go. Um, G O. Like. The. Damn, could you spell damn? D O W A. He, could you spell he? A E. Not. You're not my child. A O D. Good. His. He I S. His. H I S. Head. I can do those. Head. H A D. And have. Have. I said H A B. <laughs> right. I said H A B. Okay, guys, we'll be back. Mr. No. Mod is going to go on the time. No. All right. We are back with our lesson. Put P U T. You got this thing. This. T-H-I-S. Wonderful. She. S-H-E. With. W-I-T-H. Some. S-O-M-E. The name of the story is Getting Even. Want to go to the pool tomorrow, Rosa asked Stephanie during recess. The pool at the YMCA was one of their favorite places. Rosa and Stephanie did everything together. They rode the school bus together. They sat together during lunch. They took dance lessons together and even went to the same summer camp. They were best friends most of the time. Rosa and Stephanie had played together since they were babies. But sometimes, Stephanie didn't act like a friend. Today was one of those times. Yes, Mr. McKnight. They both are the same age. Yes, they are. How are you one? Because we 
when you have two young ladies together, one always is the more outspoken one. And if you have two that's really outspoken, they're definitely going to bump heads. But usually you always have someone who's in charge. When it's two people together, then you always have someone that has to be in charge. So Stephanie is the one that was in charge. Alright, let's go over these questions together. Are you okay, Mr. McKnight? Yep. Text dependent questions. For the following questions, choose the best answer or respond in complete sentences. Part A. Which sentence describes the theme of the short story? Is it A. Getting back at someone for being mean to you isn't always satisfying? B, treat your friends the same way that you tr- that they treat you. Or C, it's important to always be open to making new friends. Or D, sometimes best friends drift apart and make new friends. What you say, A, B, C, or D? D. Can I hear it? Yes, he picked B. Treat your friends the same way that you that they treat you. <laughs> so it's an eye for an eye, huh? Huh? It's an eye for an eye? What? It's an eye for an eye? What? It's an eye for an eye. That means that you treat people how they treat you. If someone's mean to you, then you're mean back to them. If someone's nice to you, then you nice back. You treat them nice, right? So it's an eye for an eye. That's what they call an eye for an eye. Okay. Number two, part B. Which detail from the next best su- supports the answer to part A? right now. that concludes our day of homeschooling we ended off with math um 
and then we're going to recess and we just thank you so much for watching and again if you have not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button and also that bell so that you could be notified when we do upload new videos because I try to upload a new video every day and if there is something that you would like us to do pranks or um, how to videos or whatever just let me know um, you won't be able to put it in the comments below I'm so sorry because most of my videos are open for children and I think they they turn the comments off so um, if they are open you can always leave a comment below to let us know what you would like to see from us but thank you so much for watching